With Kermit's storied history as a field reporter, we knew we had to invite him to speak on the top news stories of the amphibious persuasion. So ladies yes. and gentlemen, welcome to Frog News. <laughs> if you put a frog in milk, it helps prolong the life of the drink. This was huge in old time Russia and yep. Finland, and yep. it's even scientifically proven because of antibacterial secretions in frog skin. So Kermit, and I pardon me if this is a personal question, but would you drink milk that another <laughs> frog had been in? I'm sorry, I'm just wipe, wiping off some secretions. <laughs> got me all excited there. And for the many of us <laughs> who have always wanted to know, how do you keep your skin so moist? Well, I have to. It's very important for a frog, as I was saying, like with the last story. And you know, that's, it's because we have these things called peptides, mm -hmm. which are basically amino acids, and it can preserve milk, mm -hmm. um, which is why in our movie, there is a scene where Tina Fey licks me. <laughs> really? Yes. Now, now, don't do that to a toad. It's a whole different reaction. They're toxic, and you can kind of get crazy. Check this out. In Alaska, wood frogs are entrancing scientists with a nifty hibernation trick. So they allow themselves to become frozen solid. Yep. Two-thirds of the water in amphibians' bodies freeze, causing the heart to stop, but glucose levels rise, keeping them alive. Once the frogs thaw, they hop off like it was no big. So yep. frogs are pretty incredible, if you ask me. If you found yourself as a Kermit Popsicle Kermit yep. for months out of the year, yep. Like, what would you be thinking about? Well, I have to say it's happened. Uh, it almost happened when we were shooting the film. I do this whole gulag thing, and it was in icy, cold conditions. I went dormant. I, I kept going dormant. They had to smack me around and give me oh, coffee. No. <laughs> yeah, I, it, well, it's like this. I just go. <laughs> you know? I mean, there's no pulse, there's no nothing. It's worse than Harrison Ford breaking his leg. Oh. You know? Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, Kermit, to reduce the risk of forest fires in Lake Tahoe, in the Lake Tahoe area, mm -hmm. the U.S. Forest Service planned to remove and burn off excess trees, but a lawsuit was filed to halt the tree thinning because it was killing off endangered yep. Yep. Sierra Nevada yellow-legged frogs. Yep. Kermit, what are your thoughts on this? Do you have any advice for endangered frogs who may be watching the show right now? Well, I, I just want to say, uh, who cares about people when you're killing frogs? <laughs> Burn the forest. No, I, 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 you know, it's a, it's a sticky issue, isn't it? Because I sort of feel like we're sort of all the same in this world to some mm -hmm. degree. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't want the forest to get in trouble over the frogs, and I don't want the frogs to get in trouble over the floor, forest. Mm -hmm. It's tough. Mm -hmm. But I think if you want to survive, uh, don't date pigs. I, I'll go back to that. <laughs> and uh, and uh, maybe stop living in trees, people. You know? That's my peeps I'm talking to out there. <laughs> all, all the frogs peeps. at home. Yeah, get out of the trees, people. Sherman, you got peeps? <laughs> oh, sure, sure. I got peeps and pops and cracks and everything. <laughs> at my age, at my age, it all happens. <laughs> all <right. laughs>